up friends today we are doing a room tour because i haven't done one in like three years i want to say and since then my sister has gone to college and i have taken the liberty of stealing her room so if you know me this is like the second time that i've switched rooms but we're gonna we're gonna ignore that and without further ado let's get on with the 2023 room tour this is kind of what my bedroom looks like when you walk in i'm doing a 0.5 so you guys can kind of see everything I have this kind of bell thing on the door frame. I'm not sure what it's called, but we have this in front of all of the bedrooms. And then on the wall, I have this. This was actually like from Valentine's Day and I thought it was cute. So I just left it there. Okay, so we're gonna start kind of over here in the left corner of my room. I have two closets, one on each side. This closet has all of like my sweaters. And then on the outside, I have, you can't really see it cause it's kind of buried there, but there's like a rack there. And I just have all of my purses and stuff. And I have some hats and like hair accessories, um, a tiara because why not? I also have my mirror, which is a teensy bit dirty, please ignore that. And then at the foot of my bed, I have like a trash can and a little couch that has my extra plushies on it. Cause if you look over here, this is my bed and it is fully more stuffed animal than it is bed. And am I aware that this is a problem? Yes. Do I know what to do about it? No. I'm not gonna part with any of these. I like physically can't. I actually, some of these are new in fact. I have a little mile shrine going on. It's it's a problem and we're, we're just not, we're not gonna address it. Up on my wall, I have this kind of like collage thing going on. It's kind of, a lot of the things were like printouts from my little like quarantine anime era. And I'm like aware that it's like a little bit cringe but I think it's cute. I have like these photos from that like one free photo app that everybody used. I don't, you had to be there. This was, this was Coachella. Like you had to be there. Um, and then I have some of like me and my friends and then also like miscellaneous things like some bookmarks. I wanted to kind of like expand all the way. So uh, I'm like collecting things to put up there like stickers, movie stub tickets. My plan is just to get as much nonsense on this wall as possible and then i also have um some posters up there that you can't really see well these two are from five below this one is mob psycho 100 i think season two and this one is avatar the last airbender and this is a totoro poster that i got from i don't it was like a random comic book store i don't know okay it's kind of dark because i have a window literally right there um i'm sorry about that but this is my windowsill. I have like so many little knickknacks on my windowsill. I have my alarm clock, obviously. Um, it's like 10 minutes off because in the morning when I'm getting ready, then I'll think I'm like 10 minutes later than I am and then I'll be on time. And it actually works sometimes. And then I have like a little crystal collection going on with um, just like random knickknacks here too. And then um, a coaster for my water. The light pouring out from like the sides of the windows is kind of messing this up, but it's okay. This is my equivalent of a bedside table because I just have a shelf. Um, I have this little like notes thing. It lights up, but it's so bright. Look at that. It's actually not, okay. It's brighter at night. <laughs> okay, well, okay, now I look stupid. Whatever, we're leaving that on. These are all of my books. I have so many books here. Some of them I haven't even read. Um, most recently, I read Every Summer After. It was kind of like the adult version of The Summer I Turned Pretty. And I it it felt like a little bit like a ripoff, but apparently it's like, it kind of ripped off Love in Other Words, which is another book that came out before it. So I, we're not gonna get into that. And then I have some more miscellaneous things, like some photos that I use as bookmarks. I also have my blue light glasses, also my real glasses, um, which I'm not wearing right now, so I can't really see that well, but, and then my little like reading light. So this is basically just my bookshelf, except it's directly next to my bed. So it doubles as a bedside shelf. Okay, you know what? These shelves are kind of like messy. They're mostly for storage, except you can see everything. So you can kind of see that it's messy. Like down here, this is kind of like my electronics. I have my camcorder, which I used to do my videos on. 
And then I also have like my Nintendo Switch games. Over here, these are actually just like completely random knickknacks that I don't know where to put because I keep collecting them and I don't know where they go. I have this little dog from graduation, some ducks. I have some like hair accessories over here, some craft things. Nothing on this shelf really matters all that much. Like it's not adding to the aesthetic. It's literally for like practicality. Sorry, that that word, like I could not come up with that word. Okay, we're gonna, we're moving on. This is kind of like a weird height, but up here I have my jewelry. These are like jewelries that I've made. And then these are like store-bought ones. So I have like bracelets up here, earrings, necklaces. And then of course my mirror for when I'm doing my makeup in the morning. And then directly above this, I have my three floating shelves, which I love so much. On this first one, I have a little calendar and then a little container full of rings. And then over here, I have some more miscellaneous knickknacks and then also a bunch of little Legos or like fake Legos. <laughs> And then at the very top, I have a bunch of my blind box and like Pop Mart figures. Where my desk is, again, I have a window literally right there, which is why the lighting looks so good in the intro, but so horrible right now. But it's fine because my desk isn't really all that special. I have my laptop and then this like desk light that I got from Walmart. On my windowsill, I just have some markers, broken makeup, which I don't want to put in my makeup bag because I'm afraid of it spilling. And then some more little knickknacks. If you can't tell by now, I'm a big fan of little knickknacks. You know what? I take it back. This lighting is actually working right now. You can't see me, but it doesn't really matter because you can see the desk. I have this little like organizer um, on the bottom shelf. I just have a bunch of stickers. And then up here, I have like pens and like scissors and like actually useful things. Okay, I'm going to point out all this stuff really quick just because... I'm saving the best for last. Uh, this is my second closet. This is like my main closet is where I actually have my like shirts and pants and dresses and stuff. And um, I have this little hook thing so I can plan out my outfits for the next day. But I don't really do that during the summer. I only do it when I have to like wake up early for school. So right now I just have my graduation stole on it. I actually don't know what to do with this. I'm probably gonna go put it with my robe but I also don't know what to do with that. Because what do you do with your cap and gown after graduation? Like what other occasion would I need that for? And then I have this, which is like slightly crooked. I don't know if you can tell, but it's cause I have this little pot of flowers and it's kind of just too heavy. I used to collect magnets everywhere I went. So I have just like a bunch of these, like San Diego, Alaska, Hawaii, Las Vegas. I have a ton and I kind of stopped doing that, which I feel like I should start doing that again because I do want to fill up the rest of this board and like fill in the gaps and stuff. And I also have this three tier cart, which honestly you don't really need to see because this is essentially the drunk drawer of my entire bedroom. The bottom tier is literally all papers and like homework from my senior year. The top tier is actually just like everyday essential kind of things. Like I have my Lysol wipes, my deodorant, um, but it's nothing to really be particularly interesting. I saved the best for last. This is my favorite part of my room. I think it's so cool, but I think my definition of cool is different from most people's definitions of cool. But behind me is my <laughs> manga shelf. This is like the holy grail of my little trinkets. I have so many little figures, like so many little characters. Got like a tiny card captor Sakura. Um, the top shelf is basically just like all of my favorite. Oh my God, why is this? Anyways, <laughs> the top shelf is all of like my favorite series. So I have Spy Family, which is the first thing that I ever started collecting. And then I have like all of my Spy Family figures. And then I have Haikyuu, which is like the first anime that I ever watched. Look at my shelf. Like, I, I, en I enjoy myself quite a lot. Thank you very much. Here's a quick little nighttime perspective of my room in case any of you guys were curious. At night, I like to use my projector to watch things and I also have a cute little star galaxy projector. I used to have fairy lights too, but they broke, so I need to get new ones. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my little room tour. I feel like you can tell a lot about a person and like their personality and interests from what you see in their room. So I hope that gave you a little like insight as to who I am. And if you enjoyed that, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my channel as I potentially start to post more. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully. Bye. <laughs>